I wanted to record something different tonight. I had a moment where I am just sitting down one-on-one -on -one with God. And as a mom, I am always very, very busy. And I know like we all hear that moms are always up and go and running around um, doing everything for everybody. But when you know that the struggle and you know how real it is it's it can weigh very heavy I think lately for me I've just needed this time to really look for God um, and I read his word and and I'm worshiping through my day and I'm getting everything done that I need to get done and in the past few weeks I want to say like in the last few weeks I've just been feeling like I need to receive from God. Um, there's times where we are just giving everything and that's not a bad thing. You know, we're, we're finding ourselves praying and we're worshiping and we're giving God all of our praise, but we don't stop to really listen to what he needs to tell us, you know. And, it, and it's, although it's great to give to God because he is worthy He's worthy of every single praise. He's worthy of everything. He's worthy of our entire life um, to give back to Him. But we also have to be willing to receive from Him, to hear from Him, clear instructions, uh, direction. <laughs> and that's where my hunger has lately been sitting at. Just right now, um, the kids are in bed and I have not had a quiet moment to myself in such a long time and so I'm sitting here in my room and I am just like letting it all out. I'm crying and I'm telling God like I feel lonely at times, not in the sense that I'm like literally like nobody cares about me kind of thing. It's just like, you know when there's been a lot of problems that you're facing and you feel like you're just talking about them all the time because there's something new every single day or something new comes up in that day and you feel like you're probably giving someone else earful of all your issues and then you feel kind of like like you're a burden maybe maybe that's how I felt tonight tonight I just felt like I was just oversharing and I didn't want to sound like I was complaining but I do need someone to talk to and it's just like a reminder of like I need to just spend time alone with God like I just need him to reassure me again that he does not grow tired of listening to my prayers and he is involved in every little thing of my life and I just needed to have that validation from him and it's not that I was seeking it anywhere else you know but sometimes we just naturally want someone to physically be present and to hear us and to hug us and to like and although that's all good too it's not bad but I think I'm just coming from a place where like I spiritually needed this you know um and so one of the things my pastor always says is like you know go into your prayer room grab your, your pen and your journal and whatever you feel God like showing you in your prayer time like write it down like you might not understand it at that moment but you can always go back to it God will remind you and uh, maybe there'll be a time where you just want to go back and or something will make sense one day and be like hey I wrote something about this you know in my prayer time and you can reflect back on it and so I brought my journal and I took it out I got a pen and as I was just crying because I was just in all of my emotions and just letting God know like I know you know everything I know you know every single detail of my life and what I've been facing and I just heard Romans 5 um and I wrote it down and Philippians kept coming back to me and I just wrote Philippians I didn't know 
where Philippians, but I wrote 11. And just to share with you guys, like, I did find it. Let me pull it up. The first thing I pulled up was Romans 5, and it's titled Peace and Hope. And it says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom he we have gained access by faith into his into this grace in which we now stand and we boast in the hope of the glory of god not only so but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance perseverance character and character hope and hope does not put us to shame because god god's love has been poured out into our hearts through the holy spirit who has been given to us you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And what really spoke to me was the first part, um, verses 1 through 5. You know, there's just been a lot of not necessarily suffering, but a lot of moments that can definitely feel like that. Um, in the past two to three years, I feel like maybe even longer. But even as I go through these process, like I feel like the emotion that it carries, but I don't sit on it, you know? Um, and I always allow myself to to realize that it's there and feel it and just release it to God. And, and I find strength to keep going. I know that if I did not have God, I would not be here right now. And this right now, just God reminded me how he gives us that peace. And I'm truly grateful that he is my source of hope. He is my source of strength. And he listens to every need that I have never failing and so I read a little bit of Philippians also um, and I actually read Philippians 4 11 um, and that says here I am not saying this because I'm in need for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances 12 I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want. In 13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. And I was blown away. Like that really spoke to me. Like God literally sitting in the room with me. And for me, it just means so much. And I don't know whoever is listening to this random uh, recording. <laughs> Just know that God knows every single detail of your life, knows every single detail of every issue that you are facing right now, and He has not forgotten you. Rejoice in this, that He is present, and He still loves you, and He's still working in your situation.